In this unit, let us embark on a journey to explore the four elements of the earth from various religious perspectives. By delving into these teachings, we aim to deepen our understanding of the inseparable bond we share with these elements. Through reflection and contemplation, we'll uncover the wisdom and insights offered by different faith traditions, ultimately encouraging humanity to recognize the importance of conserving, preserving our natural environment. Together, let's embark on a path towards greater harmony with the earth and all its elements. Four fundamental elements are the earth, water, air and fire. The conceptual framework that fundamental elements, earth, water, air and fire, constitute all matter was espoused by the ancient Greeks around 450 BC and was supported by Aristotle in subsequent years. For two millennia, the notion that all matter consisted of four elements, earth, water, air and fire, served as the foundational principle in philosophy, science and medicine. All elements within earth system are now classified based on modern scientific understanding into four major subsystems. The lithosphere for land, the hydrosphere for water, the atmosphere for air, and the biosphere for living organisms. Religions play a significant role in shaping beliefs, values, and practices related to the environment, including the understanding of the four elements. Let us see what these religions speak to us about these four elements. The earth, our first element, is a rich and diverse realm composed of rocks and minerals, laying the groundwork for soil, fostering plant growth, and supporting all forms of life. Islam beautifully describes how God has spread out the earth, highlighting its vastness and significance. Similarly, Christianity emphasizes the earth's ownership by the divine, recognizing its abundance and the life it sustains. In Hinduism, the Atharva Veda reveals the earth as a sacred entity upheld by truth, law and sacrifice, with prayers for ample space and prosperity. Buddhism teaches about the importance of seeing the earth with discernment, leading to a sense of detachment and dispassion towards worldly possessions. Together, these insights offer a holistic understanding of the earth's significance and our relationship with it. The second element, water. Water exhibits numerous distinctive properties with a chemical formula of H2O. It consists of two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. Islam poses a thought-provoking question about the source of flowing water, highlighting its essential role in sustaining life. In Christianity, Jesus' words promise spiritual nourishment and eternal satisfaction through the water he provides. In Hinduism, the Atharva Veda honors water as a divine gift, invoking blessings for health and prosperity. In Buddhism, water symbolizes purity, clarity and calmness, reminding us to cleanse our minds and attain inner purity. Together, these perspectives 
underscores the significance of water in various religious traditions and its profound symbolism in spiritual practices. The third element, air, comprises a mixture of gases. Despite its varied composition, the balance of gases in the air is conducive to supporting life on Earth. In Islam, which attributes the stirring of clouds to Allah, described highlighting the divine control over atmospheric phenomena. Christianity describes the creation of humanity with God breathing life into the first human being, emphasizing the intimate connection between breath and life. In Hinduism, the Rig Veda invokes Vayu, the god of wind, in prayers for swift and refreshing breezes, symbolizing vitality and renewal. Buddhism teaches mindfulness of breath, emphasizing the importance of conscious breathing as a spiritual practice. Once again, together, all these perspectives underscore the significance of air in various religious traditions and its vital role in sustaining life. The fourth element, fire, intimately is connected to air and it requires three essential components to sustain itself. Oxygen, fuel and heat. Fire creates light, heat and smoke through a rapid chemical reaction called combustion. Islam beautifully describes Allah as the light of heavens and the earth using vivid imagery to illustrate his divine guidance. In Christianity, which recalls the appearance of the angel of the Lord to Moses in flames of fire from within a bush, symbolizing the presence of God's divine power and protection. Hinduism glorifies Agni, the god of fire, as the high priest of sacrifice and possessor of great wealth, underscoring the central role of fire in Vedic rituals. Buddhism, the Dhammapada, urges the seekers to seek the light of wisdom to dispel the darkness of ignorance using the metaphor of flames of passion and the light of wisdom to illustrate the transformative power of enlightenment. Together, these perspectives highlight the significance of fire in various religious traditions and its symbolic importance in spiritual practices. Here is a task for you. How many times does the word earth, air, water and fire appear in your religious text? For further reading on this topic, you will find the online links on this platform for various resources which you can access. Let us together build a harmonious and safe planet for all of us and the whole creation. All the best. Let's sum it up. Different religions emphasize the sacred bond between humans and the earth, urging us to re-evaluate our lifestyle and prioritize ecological awareness as part of our spiritual growth. Reflecting on the elements in spirituality shows us the importance of shifting towards sustainable practices that honor and protect our planet and to recognize that our actions determine the legacy for future generations.